All right, so I got my brand new head and I got some 103 pound springs and some tool steel retainers. Um, I'll go ahead and unwrap this and I'll probably be able to do it right on here. I'll go ahead and change those out, tape up the head and spray the outside casting and get it ready for installation. Start swapping these springs out. This is not the typical uh, tool that you would use for these valves, but it works for me. Especially when it's off the truck. See if it's right on there. There it is. It's all finished. 103 pound valves and tool steel retainers. There's the old ones. Um, new but old. Brand new head. I'm gonna go ahead and tape it off and spray it up. Get it ready for installation. Get it all taped up. I'm gonna go ahead and spray it down. So I'm measuring the protrusion. I get about 34 thousandths. Um, measuring along with the pin. I'm gonna measure a couple more of them just to see. But I think I need to put a thicker uh, head gasket on here. An alternative is to uh, have the the valves sunk deeper into the head. I've been doing to check the protrusion is I'm bringing each piston up to uh, top dead center there um, at its highest point and then I'm measuring here 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 and here and then I'll take an average you say if I'm, I'm taking the head to the machine shop to have the uh, the intake valves recessed 50 thousandths so I'm gonna give them also all my specs all my measurements and whatnot Measure with cheap Harbor Freight dial so they know it's a bootleg measurement. Um, I got the head back from the machine shop. The intake valves have been uh, sunk to 50 thousandths. So I verified it. They're all pretty much at 50 thousandths intake and exhaust so it was suggested to sink the intakes to 50 thousandths on uh i was talking to somebody online um i'm new with this so i went ahead and, and did it um better safe than sorry i guess and i didn't really want to put a thicker head gasket on i want to maintain the uh compression as as close as possible um so I'm going to remeasure the protrusion again and make sure I got it right. I think the maximum that uh, the maximum one is about uh, 33 thousandths. So, and I've read that these are, I think, 60 thousandths when they're compressed. Um, I believe. I'm not sure. All right, I got the head.
head gasket sitting on here. All the surfaces are clean. I got uh, put like three of the studs in there um, so I can set it on evenly. Make sure there's nothing in between any of this stuff. Make sure it's completely clean. Make sure the, um, the alignment dowels are there. And yeah, I should be able to set it down. Heads on. And uh, I'm using these exotic studs. I have them hand tightened, greased up. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, crank them down on the first step here, or the um, first torque step. So I've got some heavy duty Hamilton push rods. I'll go ahead and install them. I'll go ahead and clean these up, put them on a nice clean surface, there's a bunch of crap in here. But I'll scram down, clean them up, and get them ready to put back on. I'll go ahead and mount them back in their spots here. But first I'll put some some lube on these areas here. All right, got the rods in, the rockers lightly uh, screwed down here. I have to put the little bridges in there, which are right here. Got all the bridges in. Now I'll go ahead and um, tighten these down, torque them down. Um, I'll have to look up the torque value. And then after that, I will be able to go ahead and adjust the valves. I'll have to turn the engine to get to, bo to the bottom of the lobe to adjust these, each of the valves. So um, there is a method for that. I'll have to look that up. All right, it's all torqued down. Now it's time to adjust the valves. Okay, time for the valve lash adjustments. I need a 14 an Allen key and a long, thin screwdriver. So I'm going to put the engine on top dead center. And there's a mark here, right here. What I'll do is I'll, after I move it, I'll just kind of center it by hand to make sure that mark is lined up. And this should be at its uppermost point because it's riding on top of the piston, obviously. Um, so let me go ahead and do that first. I just have some bolts on the crankshaft here, and I'll spin it with a crowbar. Screw those up. Top dead center. All right. Um, Cylinder one, intake, short. Hex that on here. Make sure this is seated down. And we'll tighten this until it's clamped down a little bit on the feeler gauge. All right, I got one, two, and four at 10 thousandths. Now I'm, I'm going to do exhaust. One, three, and five. So the long ones, long ones are the exhaust. One, Three and five at twenty thousandths. All right, valves are all adjusted. I'm just going to double check uh, each bank again. I have to turn the engine again and double check them, and uh, that'll wrap it up for now. Got to order some more parts, and uh, that'll be content for my next video.